What is up, guys? And welcome to Season 2 of F1 Manager 23. This is the 2024 season, and we are rocking the chrome liveried McLaren for this season. Look at it in all of its glory. We are retaining Lando Norris, and I believe we're retaining Oscar Piastri for this season. And this could be our championship contesting year. Let's hope. We avoided the cost cap in season one by 300k. Only 300k from going over the cost cap. So we maximized that. You join us on the 31st of December, 2023. We still have a chance to do some last minute strategy. Signing a new driver. Spinning off Piastri. Buying out someone's contract. Would that put me in the mud for this year's cost cap? Probably. Let's start the new season. Um, just for those who haven't been tuning in. We did end up in P6 in the Constructors. We started off with McLaren as the second worst car. We didn't start off this save with McLaren as you know it now. Um, we, we managed to turn around McLaren almost as well as what McLaren did IRL. Um, based on some of the performances we did. McLaren went nowhere when we started this save. And um, yeah, we challenged for top fives pretty regularly towards the end of the season, which was nice. Driver standings is there. Max Verstappen dominated as always. We got the second best in the DHL fastest pit stop. And that was the season. That was the season. We have 38 million to start season two with. So we are going to cook. We've also made a ton of staff changes. A lot of staff changes in season one. And there'll be even more as they come on board for season two. Uh, so let's get into that. Here we are. The board has set a new target for the upcoming season. Uh, Drivers Championship ninth. We already did that last season, so that should be pretty easy. And Constructors Championship 6th. Never mind, I'm an idiot. Uh, the new season target is 7th. We can accept the new target, or we can say, hell no. This team doesn't have a high hope in hell of achieving that, and we could switch teams if we want to. We're here for the long haul. We're accepting the new target. Welcome to the new season. It's time to review this year's regulations, manage this season's engine, and negotiate new obligations with sponsors. Oh, this is fun. This is the stuff that you don't get to do when you start season one. Because we're making all these choices heading into a new season. So let's do it. 95 million main funds. Sponsors. Total. Pre-season lump sum. Wait, are we going to have like 60 odd mil? Merchandising. Uh, yeah. Max the hell that out. Confirm. We're McLaren. We can sell new merch every week. And they pretty much do, to be fair. Fair play to them. Race sim events. Um, this is reduced driver development boost. We don't actually need money that desperately now. So, let's actually bin these off. I don't care. 15. I care about driver development and growth. Race hospitality. Pit crew's performance will decrease on each race day. Minimum. Uh, it's nice having this luxury. We never had this luxury on last year's game when we were with Williams. We always needed money. Do we need that? Wow, that's not much money. Let's do 15. Whatever. Race day factory events. Car parts manufacturing is paused for the day of the race session. Nah, we don't need that. Factory event. Again, these are going to be pretty minuscule, aren't they? Yeah. No, not worth it. Not worth. Driver appearance. A appearance. I know this was in last year's game, but this mattered more to Williams than what it does to McLaren. Is that a whole week that they won't develop? Get rid of that. Confirm. Oh. Oh. 100 mil. Sponsorship value. Oh my words. Watch me go wildly in debt this season as well. Um, prize money. This is monthly. It's got to be monthly. 3.8 mil. Board payments, 7. Facilities is pretty minimal, actually. Staff is more than facilities, which is interesting. Uh, car development. That's where they project a lot of our money to go. 30 mil. I think not. I would like to think we'd do about 50 mil or so on, on car development now. Uh, we don't need to buy so much um, 
staff members now. We did a lot of staff purchasing and buying out of contracts uh, last season, uh, which kind of ate into our development a bit. That shouldn't be a problem this year, and we can invest more in facilities. Um, this is the regulation changes. So we lost 3.84. We gained back that. Side pods were also affected. Oh, good. Okay, we've lost, we've lost performance in the side pods. It's not ideal. Now we can buy an engine. Renault has won by two votes. That is insane. If it was going to a tiebreaker, I would decide. And honestly, I would have chosen Renault after everything that Chad has said. We saved two million as well. We are choosing Renault. And we are going to be slightly aligning ourselves with Alpine after all that. 20 mil. Come at me with the fuel efficiency. Welcome to season two. Welcome to... To 2024, Formula One. I'm going to go design center. 18 mil. Bosh, there goes half of our budget. Right there. Chassis. Middle of the road. Drag reduction is seventh. Front wing. Front wing is crap. Front wing needs looking at. Rear wing. Also crap. Side pods. Very... Crap. Underfloor. Okay, so we need medium and high speed from the underfloor. Suspension. Ugh. Also needs work. It's medium and high speed we need. Medium and high speed. All six engineers on this. We're not going to rush it. We're going to go intense. Four million on that. Which means future upgrades to the underfloor. Also be more effective. Ah, oh, look at all that cost cap remaining. It's beautiful. 4.3 mil. 29 days till that's done. Suspension was awful. Our suspension was honestly awful. I think we can get some decent gains with this. I'm going to go one hour. And then 15. I'm going to split this between three and not two. So we'll get some decent gains with this, hopefully. All on drag reduction. Can increase downforce with this if you want, but... Eh. Done. Suspension is on the way. What also was crap? Something else was crap. Side pods. We're going for a slippery car in a straight line. I'm going to go with that. 10% better drag and very minimal losses. Boom. That is... Our car development for the next 30 odd days. We are out of hours. But then I feel like we get another ATR period pretty quickly. We have some good news. Um, we actually overestimated how long it would take the underfloor to be completed. We'll be able to finish it earlier than expected. Are we happy to sign this off? Eight days quicker. Oh, yes. Approve. Should we, should we have a look at the uh, the updated driver transfers? Verstappen, Red Bull. Blair still Ferrari. I thought he went to Aston. Uh, that is Aston. Alonso, Norris, Perez still at Red Bull. Gasly still at Alpine. Sainz is still there. Ocon, Bottas, Stroll. Literally been no changes. Hey Mag is at Haas. Wow. Sonoda is at Williams. Ricardo is now in... Oh, he was already at AlphaTauri. Never mind. Mick Schumacher has gone to AlphaTauri. All right. Design is complete on the underfloor. Let's manufacture that. I forgot about manufacturing. That's a thing. Yeah. Five of those. Two mil. Bosh. Driver development update. Piastri gets better adaptability. So does Lando. That's strange. All right. Suspension is done. 19 days to the Bahrain Grand Prix. Side pods are done in one day. Nasty for 700k. It's pretty cheap. We're going to go with that. Very minimal losses in engine cooling. Gain in airflow and we gain in drag reduction and it only costs 700k. Six engineers. I'm going to do normal because we don't have hours onto that. Manufacture the side pod upgrade. Can we get that on in time for Bahrain? 18 days. 
that we can. Let's do four. 8 mil. Okay. Sponsorship obligations. Oh my god. Okay. One of our sponsors has requested a change to the contract this season. More specifically, they would like to add more race simulator obligations for later in the year. No. Yeah. I want my drivers to develop as much as possible, please. Race prep. Oh, we're here already. We've arrived at the target. Can we reach Q3? Probably not. I don't think we can. I don't think we can. Two drivers. Top. 14. 15. I really... The bar is... The bar is low, I think. Wait, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's put the new components on. New underfloor. New suspension. Side pods. No, we haven't. That's everything. That is everything. Ah, uh, There's only so much you can do. In a short space of time. But what does that mean for the car overall? Alpine might well be our rivals to start off with. Okay. I'm not going to select Reach Q3. I am going to select Reach Q3. I think Lando can do it. Uh, one driver inside the top 10. Two drivers in the top 10. There might be dramas for other people. We're going to push for it. All right. It's not been the best winter. Like McLaren in 2023. But we're going to turn it around very quickly. Time for the first race. Time for the first practice session. As we always say, it is time to go to the race weekend. Wait, we have other liveries for other teams. Let's have a look at Red Bull. Bosch. The White Bull livery for this season. Let's go. How good does that look, chat? Unfortunately, nothing for Aston Martin. Mick Schumacher back in Formula One. And Alpha Tauri. Is Mercedes out on track? No. Hamilton is. Mercedes have a new look for this season. Vodafone. And the Pink Alpine makes a return. Uh, Williams? Is Williams out there? Albon is. They have the bolder than bold livery. The golf livery. Lovely stuff. It's time for qualifying. Let's have a look. There shouldn't be too much to do. We don't need to change components or anything. 100% set up for Oscar. Uh, 96 for Lando. And we don't need to worry about fiddling around with this. 94, 96, 92. All right, Q1 is underway. Oscar's going out on Inters for the uh, confidence boost. Lando, I think we can we can just whack in a lap now and have him get through to Q2. I hope. If if last season's car is anything to go by, Lando has a little bit of traffic, I believe, up to the line. Nine tenths off Russell. That is not good. Nine tenths off Russell is not where I expected us to be. Albon is P1. And only two sets of softs. Two sets of softs. Very good. Two sets of softs for Oscar as well. Okay, qualifying is is not our bag. We are going ham for the race. Tire allocation was was not good. Gastry goes. Oh no. Oh no. No, we can't get knocked out in Q1. Not Q1. Use tires. We're going again. I'm praying we got blocked on both of our laps. Yeah. New tire. Uh, same tires. I can't believe we're having to watch an onboard lap in Q1. That's what it's come to. We watch onboard to see if Lando can progress to Q2. Okay, Lando is green. I just saw him get blocked by someone. Nick Schumacher. Very good. Please be green. Please be green. This is meant to be our championship challenging season. And we're not improving on a time for P18. Season 2. What has happened to us? Up to the line. Lando goes P. Only P16. How is this happening? This is an actual crisis. How has this happened? Oh my god, we're gonna cancel the pit in. 
Hopefully goes quicker on this lap. Oh yes, Piastri goes through. It's very tight. Can Lando do it? Can Lando do it? Another car in the way. Lando's out. Out of battery. Out of fuel. Probably wouldn't have been good enough anyway. We've got a yellow flag here. Both the alphas could knock us out, actually. Good. Piastri is through. Yeah, Lando got blocked. He's six tenths off Piastri. That never happens. Six tenths off. I don't think it's as disastrous as maybe we think it is. Lando would be like one or two tenths clear. A 30.5 puts Lando inside the top 10. So it's not as bad as we think it is, guys. It's not as bad as we think it is. We've got better tires for the race. Give me all the copium. It's time for Q2. How long do we sack off this season? I'm not going to watch the onboards. Or am I? I'm going to watch it, of course. Just to make sure Perez doesn't get in the way. Last lap in Q2. We've got all the tyres for the race. Don't think we're going to progress through to Q3 here. But we can try. Thank you for getting out the way. There should be no one else in the way for the rest of the lap. And we go. E15. We did improve, but not by enough. What's the... Wow, three tenths slower. Three tenths slower than Q Q1. Well done. Well done. I don't know how we managed that. Just be asked three things. Well, it is not Q3 for us. <laughs> well, there's nothing quite like it. Welcome <laughs> along to race day. Oh. Oh, guys, I can't believe it. I selected uh, for one of the sponsors for us to get into Q3 with one car. That went well. Time for the race. Time for the race. We have um, quite a few sets of mediums. Huh. What a strategy that is. What a strategy that is. Look, if we go to compounds, I reckon we've got like three sets of mediums. Three sets of mediums. And they're trying to prioritize softs. Although now that I think about it, I think softs were pretty OP. Season 1. Either way, uh, let's build something resembling a race strategy here. 93% softs is the best we got. Let's go medium, medium soft. I think. That is that. Uh, we're in the same boat with Lando. We're going to test the... Uh, the Fuel efficiency theory. I'm just going full send with it, really. It's going to be a hard, hard slog for, for points. We're going full mud strategy with Lando. I'm going to go hards. Get these crap tires out of the way. He's at the back. He's got no track position. We've got a slow car, 17th. Um, let's hope for safety cars, and then he can get off that crap tire and onto the mediums for the rest of the race. Didn't think I'd be in this position. I thought we'd be uh, hoping. I, I thought we'd be fighting for podiums. But we're 15th and 17th in first qualifying of the year. Any safety cars we box? Just what will happen here? Your guess is as good as mine. We got no track position anyway, so it doesn't matter. And this is it. The Bahrain. Here we go for a brand new season. The season we're gonna win! Here we go. We're fighting for podium positions, guys. Just in the wrong order. From the back of the grid, let's go. Back in serve straight away. Lando's up to P15. Had a good start. Gasfree on the move. Let's go. Significantly lighter car than everyone. Let's see if we can keep going. 
We're ahead of a Mercedes on lap one. Our season isn't that bad, guys. Let's see, a lot of people on softs, they like their softs. Yeah, so if you didn't see the starts of the stream or the video, uh, this new Renault engine we're running is very good on fuel, so we're putting that to the test. Literally in this race. E14. Let Ben cook. Lando's staying with, which is nice. Oscar's just been overtaken. Alright, let's... Let's overtake. I was, I was quite happy to sit behind Albon, but now we've got him, and we've got within one second of the next car, so that's not that's not horrendous. Fighting with Alpine once again. Fighting with Alpine. I just want to guarantee we can stay in uh, DRS. And then, and then we start saving stuff. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's back off. Wasn't planning on overtaking, but... Made it work. Go on, Piastri. Keep going. Piastri... Is cooking. Bro's causing a red flag at the 56 lap with that fuel. Ah, yeah, that reminds me of someone. <laughs> oh, nine tenths. Do we get DRS? No, we just miss out. We just miss out. We might get it into this next one. Oh, come on. At the wrong time. Okay. Let's cook. on gaps. I want to run this playthrough a little bit quicker in this season, which means a little bit more fast forwarding at times. Oh, we're just chilling. We dropped Guan Yu Zhou. So Norris has no pressure behind. Piastri moves up a place. Recovering fuel really well. If only it meant we had amazing pace. If only it meant we had amazing pace. Running this light on fuel. We're recovering insanely well. Oh my god, look at first and second! <laughs> Mercedes 2014 all over again. Oh, Norris, Norris, Norris. Norris has lost the RS. And think about the shifting coast. Oh, my bad. Wrong car. Gastry's fine. Wait, no, he's not. Both cars have dropped out of DRS. What am I doing? Yeah. Norris is pretty much back in. Gastry's back in. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Actually going to go down to standard for both cars. I'm accepting that the track position is terrible, but I'm actually going to save tires and save fuel and put ourselves in a better position for later. I'm not going to try and waste resources to climb up another couple of places. I'm going to be... Quite smart about this, I hope. Oh, he has DRS. Never mind. Stay in. People are boxing. Soft runners. Albon's in. Hulkenberg's in. Mediums. Oh, yes. That helps us. Lovely stuff. We're overcutting everyone. Let me cook. Did Norris just overtake? Norris just got Let's past Ocon. Let's take a look. Now this was at turn three. The opportunity's there. Huge. Well, says, well, thank you very much. Extra place for us. More people boxing. Leclerc, Magnuson, Russell. Norris gets ahead. Both cars are clear. Gastry overtakes Gastly up to P7. Okay, so we're fuel saving on our own then. Gastly gets back ahead, so let's save fuel again. Gastry's ahead. Stappen boxes. And goes to softs. 
Gasly's in. So we're working together with Gasly. Now he boxes, so let's see what he goes to. Mediums. All right. A7, P9. Track position looks good. That's about it. Track position looks good and that's it. We go one stop. Maybe if we save. Landon Norris could maybe do a one stop. What are the AI doing? Ah, it looks like they're two stopping. Probably. <coughs> oh, yellow flag? Yeah, I locked up. Ah. Pace is still good, let's just keep it up. Now we should be able to take a look here. Here we are then at the 11th corner. Well, you can see the lockup, and hopefully there's not too much damage to the tires. F1 manager 22 vibes there. So <clears throat> let's have a look at expected strategies. Soft to medium. Oh, they're doing a two stop. They're doing a two stop. They're on that kind of window. We could do one less stop here. We've got a long way to go. Long way to go. Yeah, let's go medium hards. Hard medium. And I reckon we box Piastri. Let's go to hards. Red flag right now would be nice. Red flag right now. Red flag right now. Jumped by Stroll. Gastry is boxing. Try not to hold up Lando too much. Attack. Boy. Back down to neutral. Into the box you go. Huge stint. One stop is the only play we have, guys. One stop is the only play. Given the pace, given the tire allocation. See if we can make it work. Just watch the white line. If there's a lay to safety car, we might box for softer tires, but we'll see. Where do we get? Do we get first here? We jumped to Sonoda, which is huge. That didn't tell us. Lando is head of the massive queue. Holding everyone up. That is nice. I know the mediums can do 25 laps, so we're going to get to about lap 30 or something. Get to lap 32 if we can. Holding back Ferrari nicely, which is good. Oscar's now going to run his own pace. Still holding up sights. Yellow. Oh, Stroll's had a moment. Yellow flag. Huge. We're holding down P5 on these tyres. We're holding back a soft runner for multiple laps. Is this a, is this our straight line speed now coming into play? Is this is this like our cooked strategy? Sonoda gets us, but it's fine. Science gets us finally. Let's have a look. But this is what happened. Now let's take a look here at turn ten. It's certainly inviting. Nice move. It's a brave move. And science gets by without too much trouble. Lovely stuff. Look at this big ass train. Behind us. We're holding up all these people on better tires. We are being the annoying slow team. For a change. Ah! Here's the replay. That could be front wing. Front wing gone. Said, that was pretty risky. And there'll be more than one unhappy team after that. We better not get a penalty for that. We got turned in on. Yeah, Alonso gets the penalty. Huge. Oh, we do have damage. Minor front wing damage. So let's take a look at the replay. Heading down the straight. There's yeah. the opening. I don't know why I click on the replay. We've seen it. We were there. Low confidence. 
And we're going to get eaten by everyone. That's a shame because Lando was our best chance. Points there. So, well, it's dropping further and further back from Sonoda. That's crazy. Oh, this is not shaping up to be a good race, guys. It's box for new mediums. We have tires aplenty for Norris, at least. Here we come. Oh, wait. We have to change the wing. Was the white line? Good. It's not our day. It's not our day. Safety car, red flag, you change it all. Safety car, we get our lap back. Change our wing. We can start to cook again. Now Hello. We've got an incident here, and as I understand it, George Russell's involved. Oh no. It was George Russell involved. And you can see how tight it is. And the impact on the car, it's quite clear. Unbelievable. Piastri gets a penalty. For being the victim. Front wing and suspension broke it. Oh my god, this race is budded. Get it out of my sight. Cursed. Cursed Grand Prix. Do we retire? I want to keep going in case we get points, but... Do we retire? Retiring from races doesn't look good on the, on the board confidence, does it? Probably, probably better if we just finish. Chat's telling me to retire both cars. I have to... Oh, I have to answer to a board of directors. You guys don't. That's the difference. Does a P16 and P17 look better than a double DNF? Probably not. Also, let's fight this. There's the swap. Also, we don't need to worry about fuel anymore. We're lapped. Answer slap. We're probably not going to get it with uh, broken suspension, broken wing. Which I still haven't changed, by the way. Hello, Ricardo. Oh, Ricardo got us. Piastri gave way to the Claire, but also gave way to. And we're watching oh, Daniel God. Ricardo. Can they squeeze by? What a move! Absolutely huge. I'm going to absolutely cook this guy. Some crazy gaps. Some crazy gaps. Red Bull are more dominant than ever. Alpha Tauri are more horrible than ever. Somehow. Just close up. Very good. Very nice. Full push. Can we get faster slap? Who knows, chat? Green first sector. Stappen starts the last lap. Can't overtake this guy because blue flags. Yep, yeah, that's us in the muds. Can't get faster slap because blue flags. Let's end it. Let's put ourselves out of our misery. 16th and 18th. That's a really miserable day for Oscar Piastri. You know, I don't think many would have expected to see them finishing outside the top 10. They'll be aiming much higher than that, I assure you. And no doubt, the Stappen fans will be celebrating the Dutchman's achievements. And that's win number one of the season. And it's sure to provide them with a real confidence. <sighs> How have we gone so backwards? How have we gone so backwards?
Our research meant nothing. Research did nothing. Maybe that's what people were talking about when they said research was glitched. Perhaps. Either way, people have put a lot more eggs into this year's basket. I feel like we researched a bit. Granted, we did do a lot of developing last season. And I thought those developments would carry over. I think they did carry over to this season. At least the non-affected areas of development. Um, but then other teams must have developed and researched at the same time. I don't know how they're upgrading both seasons' cars so well. Can't compete with that. Uh, but we'll keep developing. We'll keep going. We'll see uh, what we can do. But yeah, it's uh, a long road ahead. Haas look quick. Aston, second quickest car, but a third in the constructors. I think they personally didn't have a great day on track. At least on Sunday, so that's put them on the back foot. But yeah, Williams also strong as well. Crazy how much the uh, the order has changed year on year. We did get fastest pit stop challenge by quite a margin, actually. So at least there's that. But yeah, a lot of work to do. We need to go back to the drawing board from the next episode and reel this back in because... This cannot stand. I won't allow it to stand. There we go. Design on the chassis is done. So yeah, there we go. Um, are we gonna? I might. I might design a chassis, manufacture a chassis while we're here. In case I forget, we've got missing car parts. That would be the front wing suspension for Piastri, front wing for Lando. So already, I think we're out of car parts. Yeah. No spare front wings. No spare front wings. That's rough. Um, manufacture. Five days we can start manufacturing things. I feel like if we come back this season and win races or get podiums, it's going to be even more of a, a comeback than, than season one. And season one was tough. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Not the start of the season I think any of us wanted. But um, yeah, that's just going to make the comeback even stronger. And the satisfaction even greater when we do beat everyone in this field. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you see plenty more racing game content. Season 2, McLaren, back in the mud.